Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to easily defeat the Eagle boss, which is the final boss of the Deer God. First you got to talk to the Elder of Strength, so don't even think about it until you find this guy. I think he's the fourth Elder that you talk to, and he gives you a final task to prove your commitment to them. The task is to find a couple of deer that have been trapped by an avalanche and simply free them. So, you just kind of wander around until you bump into the trap deer. Oh right, there's this uh, puzzle first. I don't know if it's the same for everybody else, but I ran into this right before finding the trap deer. So it's a, you know, all the puzzles in this game are pretty straightforward. So this is actually probably the hardest one I've come across and it took me no time at all to figure out. All you gotta do is line up these little uh, vase looking things with the uh, holes in the uh, stone above and then just light them up. And that's it. And this will give you the ice ability. So it's the same as the fireball, you just toss this projectile except it freezes your enemy, which is extremely useful against harder, uh, more powerful enemies like rhinos and such, where the fireball is kind of useless because they just charge you really fast. Um, okay, so here are the deer trapped in the avalanche. It's just six blocks of ice. You can use the fireball to break them down. Don't break the uh, the one at the bottom right corner because they need that to jump on. Um, well, I guess you could use the two blocks, but if you knock one of the blocks over, then you're screwed. So yeah, then the, the uh, Elder Strength's right there. You just talk to him, and he basically tells you that you've proven yourself and will eventually be taken by a giant eagle. Which I thought would just take me off to the end of the game in a friendly sort of manner, but it turns out he's actually a boss that you have to kill. What am I doing here? Killing a wolf, I guess? Oh yeah, okay, so this is when the, the eagle shows up. So you just have to keep running to the right, like usual, just wander around until eventually the eagle flies down and scoops you up and he tries to feed you to his chicks. So all you gotta do is kill the chicks. I did it really lamely by standing on the branch. I activated the fire ability and I just sat there and shot them with fire until they all died. That's the easiest way to do it, and you don't have to lose any lives. I managed to beat this boss on my first try, which is what you're watching right now, with only two skulls, and I used one of the skulls only because this hawk that you see, I try and stomp on him when he lands on the branch, but uh, he ends up killing me, which was really annoying. I probably could have beat this boss without dying at all, but that wasn't the case. So yeah, just keep hammering at these chicks until they die. See, I try and I try and stomp the uh, hawk, but it doesn't work. Okay, now that all the chicks are dead, the uh, giant eagle will start to swoop down and attack you. And that's at least in my playthrough, that was the only attack he ever did. So. Uh, He's not really all that deadly. Um, the best way to beat him, which I figured out instantly, is to crack open a beehive. So set the beehive in your uh, little inventory slot there, and uh, just use it. Hit B, and uh, the bees, they I think they probably took out uh, three quarters of his health. I practically did nothing for this boss. It was extremely easy. Uh, the only other thing I attempted to do was... Oh, there's two other things. I cracked open a falcon egg. The falcon just sat in the nest and watched me the whole time. He didn't do anything. And I, at one point I actually thought that that hawk was my falcon. My falcon was just... You can see him just sitting there. So the hawk kills me. Use one of my skulls. Uh, as you can see, the boss's health is, has gone way down. That's the bees. You don't even see them. I think you'll see them in a second. Yeah, you can see them up in the top left corner. They can swoop down, but they're just up there killing the boss for me. The only other thing I did was I uh, planted a toadstool 
just because I thought I could use it to uh, jump up and try and razor hoof the boss, which I do a couple times, but really the, the bees pretty much killed this boss for me. So make sure you have a beehive before you do this, because otherwise it's probably a real pain in the ass. Plant the old toadstool, and I just use it to razor hook down every time he flies down. I think I hit him one more time and the, the rest is taken care of. My good friends, the bees. Yep, there they are. And that's it. That's the final boss. It's really easy. If you don't have bees, I'm sure it's not so easy. But I did it with uh, only dying once, and I only died once because the stupid hawk killed me. I wasn't even killed by the eagle. So I got the collect all relics achievement, I also got the kill the eagle achievement, and I will soon get the finish the game achievement. So after you kill the eagle, just keep wandering to the right, and uh, you'll eventually run into a checkpoint stone, which I think is coming up really soon. And uh, that will just trigger... Oh yeah, so the, now the falcon decides he wants to help me out. Kills a rhino for me. So yeah, just keep wandering until you run into a checkpoint stone. Like this one, you'll see that all the relics light up. The final one lights up at the top, and then the game just slowly fades to white. And that's it, you've beaten it. But the game continues after, which is awesome. Uh, once all this text goes away... You, uh, you get the option to choose whether to return as a human being or become an elder deer. I took the obvious road and picked elder deer because that's way cooler than a human. Um, I will do a second playthrough and pick human just to see what happens. I don't know if you get to actually continue playing as the human or if that's, it just ends. But you do get to continue playing as an elder deer if you pick that. And, um... I haven't I haven't played much with that yet, but I'm assuming you don't need to worry about growing or any of that stuff. You just remain an an adult Do you wish to return elder to deer. So yeah, here you see deer gives you a choice, congratulates you, and on the left is the elder god or the uh, elder deer option. On the right is the human option. Be the same. Make your choice and fulfill the prophecy. <sighs> You gotta make your choice, so you just scroll left and right, whatever's uh, highlighted, you'll see the whatever image is highlighted means that's the one you're on. Because otherwise you, it's hard to tell which one you're actually selecting. So yeah, I come back as an elder deer, which is awesome. It's got a little uh, cross necklace on. It's got a goatee. There I got the choose elder achievement, which is finish the game and become an elder. There's another achievement for finishing the game and becoming a human, which I'll try and get later on. Probably won't make a video about it, because I'm sure it's not all that interesting. But uh, yeah, so that's how you kill the eagle. That's how you beat the game. Uh, I am looking forward to exploring a little more of the game, so I will probably do that. But uh, thanks for watching. Hope that helped you out.